Mary Wilson was one of the founding members of the legendary Supremes and a friend of our show. She was set to join us as a guest co-host to commemorate all the exciting things she had in store this year. Mary had so much to live for, but sadly, instead of a celebration, we're mourning the loss of a music pioneer. What made the Supreme so special? Well, first of all, we knew we were special. You know, we knew we were good. We were the first girl group there at Motown, but we were the last ones to get a hit record. That's how much we really believed in ourselves. Mary's death came as a shock to many. In fact, just this past Saturday, she filmed this new video for her YouTube channel, appearing healthy and excited about her 77th birthday next month her upcoming new album, and the 60th anniversary of The Supremes. They are going to release new recordings, Mary Wilson recordings. Yes, at last! Today, celeb reaction poured in. Her longtime bandmate, Diana Ross, telling E.T. exclusively, I remember Mary's joy and love during happier times. I'm happy to have known her. Set me free, why don't you? I do think The Supremes showed the world that black women were gorgeous, talented. We proved the American dream. We were the American dream. We are dream girls. Dream girls was loosely based on the Supremes. In 1977, they would go their separate ways and Mary continued her solo career. Come on and save me. I walk down the street now and people say, aren't you Mary Wilson? Before it was, I, you know, they weren't sure. Our last interview with Mary was in 2019, when she competed on Dancing with the Stars at the age of 75. I'm still doing gigs. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> of up. It shows all those people out there who are in their 70s that you can still do it. Now I'm telling you, I'm a little tired. <laughs> you know what it feels like when your dream really comes true? It's so real, it's, it, it stops you. You have a moment of silence. It's like, whoa, this is. Hey, this, ah! Oh, excuse me. <laughs>